Welcome to the Palm Beach County School District's Volunteer Coordinator Training. The District Volunteer Program Coordinator is Stacy Oak. Her contact information is displayed on the screen for any questions you may have relating to this training. Please note, the Office of Communications and Engagement is located at 505 South Congress Avenue in Boynton Beach. Today's Volunteer Coordinator's training is focused on the following. Responsibilities, confidentiality, policies, guidelines, and procedures, recruitment, volunteer orientation, faculty orientation, volunteer appreciation and recognition, and awards. Responsibilities of a coordinator. It's important to meet with your principal as soon as possible to ensure the success of your volunteers. You will need access to a computer and work area to carry out duties, a dedicated computer for volunteers to sign in and out, preferably located in the front office, school's policies, school goals and objectives, a current email address and telephone number provided to the district volunteer program coordinator. Please update our office if any of your information changes. A faculty orientation. The school's volunteer needs, which include the teachers, staff, and students. Recruiting and screening of volunteers. A volunteer orientation. Recognizing volunteers. Maintaining the online tracking system. Keeping communication open and ongoing. Notifying school of current best practices. Performing other duties as assigned. Confidentiality. Volunteer coordinators must keep all information regarding a volunteer, for example, personal information, reasons why they are not approved, etc., confidential. Certain matters should only be discussed with the principal and key staff. It's imperative to remember, lack of confidentiality by you or any volunteer in your school can have a negative impact on your program and may be harmful to the school community. Policies, Guidelines, and Procedures Please refer to the Volunteer Coordinator Handbook for more in-depth information on policies and procedures. Click the Hub tile in the portal. Scroll down to the bottom and click the Volunteer Coordinators button. Or go to palmbeachschools.org slash volunteers to find the Volunteer Program Overview. Please review Policy Item 2.53, Volunteers in Public Schools, by clicking on the Board Docs tile in the portal. Search 2.53 to locate. Volunteer Recruitment while you're recruiting volunteers, determine your school's needs with your principal and faculty. Meet with your volunteers to learn their personalities and their skills so you can make an appropriate, immediate placement. Start small. Seek individuals with particular skills. Recruit year-round. Don't over-recruit. Be specific about your volunteer opportunities. Be informed and positive. Individual recruitment. Contact previous volunteers. Peer recruitment. Parents recruit parents. Teachers recruit teachers. Students recruit students. And senior citizens recruit senior citizens. Contact key community leaders and business partners. Face-to-face -face approach at PTA, PTO meetings, school fairs, student councils, school assemblies, service clubs, and social organizations. Mass recruiting. Letters to homes, organizations, and civic groups. Selected mailing lists, including email lists. Contact local chapters of civic, religious, and social organizations. Ask them to announce the need for volunteers, distribute information, and possibly appoint a recruitment chairperson. Form a recruitment committee in your school to help develop resources and techniques. Use the faculty and administration of your school. Explore their social and civic contacts. Additional ways to find volunteers. Principal should make an appeal in his or her letter to parents. Send a volunteer request form home with school packets or give them out at a room parents' meetings, at preschool roundup, fall open house, preschool, PTA, PTO meetings, etc. Advertise in your school newsletter and PTA, PTO newsletter. Place a message on the VIPS count tracking system to communicate with and recruit volunteers for specific events at your school. If you still need help in recruiting for special needs, contact the District Volunteer Program Coordinator at 561-738 2780 Volunteer Orientation. A PowerPoint presentation is provided on the Volunteer Coordinator's webpage to aid you in training your volunteers. If you need any help or have any questions regarding training your volunteers, contact the District Volunteer Program Coordinator. Staff and Faculty Orientation. When doing your orientation for the school's staff and faculty, go over policies, guidelines, and procedures.
remind your volunteers to utilize the VIPS program by signing in and out. Go over chaperone application and guidelines. Chaperoning guidelines. It's important that volunteers are registered and approved before they accompany your school on a field trip. Make sure the school volunteer coordinator has a copy of the approved field trip form with a list of volunteers two weeks prior to the field trip. All chaperones must complete the second page of PBSD 1894, Field Trip Activity Planning Report and Approval Request. Anyone who is using their own transportation must complete PBSD 2360, Student Field Trip Consent and Release, for other than school provided transportation. Volunteer appreciation and recognition. Recognition should be an ongoing process. A smile or a word of thanks from you, the teachers, students, etc. Official recognition should take place during April, which is Florida School Volunteer Appreciation Month or at the end of the academic year. Appreciation functions should be financed by the school, not the coordinator. Volunteer appreciation. Certificates of appreciation are available from the Office of Communications and Engagement to be filled in at the individual school and awarded to each volunteer. Each local school volunteer program will want to recognize their own volunteers in some way. You might have a breakfast or luncheon for them at the end of the year, thank them in the school newsletter, or write a personal thank you as well as giving them each a certificate of appreciation, which is available from the Office of Communications and Engagement by request. Certificates will be sent by Pony Mail. Use every opportunity available to stress the importance of volunteer contributions. Browse the internet for topics such as volunteer recognition or school volunteer appreciation for more ideas. Outstanding School Volunteer Award. The Outstanding School Volunteer Award is presented annually to a student, adult, and senior who have shown outstanding dedication and commitment. You can only submit one in each category. Your applications are to be sent to the District Volunteer Program Coordinator by the designated deadline. Family and Community Involvement Award presented annually for an outstanding family involvement program. Categories are for elementary or secondary schools. Family involvement programs must be innovative, increase parent involvement, and designed to be easily replicated. Entries must reflect a school project that focuses on specific school-initiated parent-family involvement programs or strategies. Return the completed application form by the designated deadline. Golden School Award Awarded to those schools having exemplary volunteer programs that meet the following criteria. A staff training program in which a minimum of 80% of the school staff have participated in training related to school volunteerism during the school year. A school volunteer coordinator provides leadership for the school volunteer program through recruitment, placement, training, and supervision of all participants. A total number of hours in volunteer service that equals twice the number of students enrolled in the school. For example, if you have 700 students enrolled in your school, you will need 1,400 volunteer hours. Note Effective 2012, there is no longer a limit of eight hours per day for volunteer chaperones on field trips. Silver School Award. The Silver School Award is presented annually to recognize secondary schools with exemplary peer volunteer tutor programs that meet the following criteria. The sending school must have a school volunteer coordinator who provides coordination of the program, placement of students, orientation, training for the students, evaluation of the student program, and supervision of student volunteers. The receiving school must have a volunteer coordinator who provides coordination of the program, placement of secondary students, orientation, training for the receiving staff, evaluation of student program, and supervision of student volunteers. Student volunteers and the receiving faculty must both receive orientation and training. Student volunteers must receive continuous supervision. The composite student volunteer hours must be equal at least to one half the total number of students in the sending school. For example, 2,000 students equals 1,000 volunteer hours. Five Star School Award designates and recognizes schools that have total community involvement. The Florida Department of Education requires that applying schools must have a C grade or above. The purpose is to help schools monitor their level of community involvement. 
An award is presented annually determined by school grade and other criteria from the previous year. Palm Beach County holds the Five Star School Reception to honor designated Palm Beach County schools where they are presented with a certificate of designation from the state and a five star flag to display proudly at their school. Volunteer of the Week. Radio recognition of volunteers sponsored by Clear Channel stations. Volunteers not selected on the county level from the outstanding school volunteer nominations will be recognized on Clear Channel stations. Announcements usually begin in September and run through June. Schools that have the selected volunteers will be notified in advance. Volunteer Coordinator of the Year. Length of service as a volunteer coordinator. Supports VIPS program and follows its guidelines, including registering and entering personal volunteer hours. Participates in district and area meetings and trainings. Regularly monitors and maintains the tracking system. Assists other volunteer coordinators in our district. This concludes our session. We hope this training has been beneficial in helping provide a greater understanding of the school district's volunteering in public schools program. To learn more, visit palmbeachschools.org slash volunteers or contact Stacy Oak at 561-738-2780 or via email, vips at palmbeachschools.org. Thank you for all you do.